The judge's ruling not only disqualifies the Dorchester County State's Attorney, but also all of her office. And now someone else, another prosecutor, will have to come in to help try the case. This is surveillance video obtained by the I-Team from November 2021. It shows up to 20 shots fired along Camellia Street and Greenwood Avenue in Cambridge. According to a court charging document, investigators found more than a dozen shell casings at the shooting scene. This is a memorial for the victim, 16-year-old Jalen Wolford. Another injured teen survived. One person accepted a plea agreement on first-degree murder charges, but the upcoming trial of another defendant who was 16 at the time has taken an unusual turn. My name is Kimari Anos, and I lived in Dorchester County for all my life. That's all now 18-year-old defendant Kimari Anos is allowed to tell us because of the pending case. But his attorney is talking. This is just a, a case that never should have gone forward once the state knew what they found out. During a hearing in September, a judge released Annals on his own recognizance. He had spent 631 days in jail. The judge also disqualified Dorchester County State's Attorney Amanda Leonard and her entire office from the case. All after the defense complained, it had just gotten information they say prosecutors had seven months earlier, including new allegations, new facts, new evidence, and witnesses, at least one claiming Ennels wasn't at the shooting scene. What has occurred here is unbridled, unregistered, unguarded abuse of power from the state attorney's office. In a response to the court, State's Attorney Leonard claimed there has been no intentional acts on the part of the state's attorney's office to violate Mr. Ennel's rights. And during the hearing, she told the judge, The state has complied with providing everything that the state has or intends to use at trial. The judge expressed concerns about having a fair process and the perception and appearance of fairness. I'm troubled about what occurred. I'm also don't agree with the state's analysis as it relates to uh, the justification for what occurred. Ennos remains charged with first and second degree murder and gun violations, including possession of a firearm by a minor. His attorney says Ennos has never been involved in the criminal justice system. The I-team did request an on-camera interview with the state's attorney, but instead got a press release that reads, State's Attorney Amanda Leonard has consulted the Maryland State's Attorney's Association for assistance in acquiring an outside prosecuting agency to handle the Ennels case. The Prince George's County State's Attorney's Office has agreed to assume the prosecutorial responsibilities of this case. I'm like, you know, how many other cases have, have this been done to you? As the case sits in limbo, the Ennels family hopes things will work out. When they took my son from me, my son was only 16 years old. My son been saying he been innocent the whole time. And like I said, evidence that should have been presented wasn't. And why? No new court date has been set. Reporting from Cambridge on the Eastern Shore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.